again, everybody. Lance Russell and Dave Brown right along ringside, ready to go with another big championship wrestling action. By golly, fired up. We got some tag team matches scheduled today. That won't quit. You David. are right. Opening match of the day. Buddy Wayne, David Oswald in here. They will be going against the Gibson brothers, Rick and Robert. That's just the opener. Another tag team match, and I'm waiting for this one. It's going to be Bill Dundee, handsome Jimmy Valiant on one side of the ring. Whoa. On the other side, it'll be David Schultz and Dennis Condry. Oh, man, how about that? Dr. D and Dennis Condry going against the superstar and mercy, handsome Jimmy. Indeed, <laughs> and that's not all. Expiration of time has been coming up. Jerry Bryant, Rick Morton to go against Paul Ellering and Ali Hassan. Hey, I got to tell you some videotapes, too, Davey, that we uh, have a match that took place uh, between Sonny King and his brother Shaft and Ray Candy and Sugar Bear Harris. We're going to be seeing all of that action in there, plus some other. We better get into it if we got all that to go. We'll be back with wrestling action in the ring just one moment. Gentlemen, now's your chance to see 13 of the world's greatest professional wrestlers featured in a triple main event at the National Guard Armory in Butchel. That's right, tonight at 8 o'clock, you can see Big Walter Johnson, ex-pro football player with the Cleveland Browns, versus the fabulous Joe Valiant. And the Von Bronner twins versus Louisville's own Joe Hall and Bill Helm for the United States Tag Team title. See other great stars like Dale Mann versus Ron Starr. See midgets versus midgets. Girls versus girls. You can even see the masked assassin versus a 750-pound wrestling bear. Buy your tickets in advance and save a dollar. Day of Fight, four and five dollars each available for adults. Three dollars for children. This is a chance in a lifetime to see championship wrestling at its best. That's tonight, beginning at eight o'clock at the National Guard Armory in Butchel. That's tonight, championship wrestling, beginning at eight o'clock at the National Guard Armory in Butchel. Don't miss it. Nowadays, one fall, 10 minute time limit match at a total weight of 468 pounds. From Memphis, Tennessee, Buddy Wayne, and from Jonesboro, Arkansas, David Oswald. At a total weight of 454 pounds on the right of your screen. From Pensacola, Florida, Rick and Robert Gibson. This is a one fall, 10 minute time limit match. Referee, Jerry Calhoun. The very popular Gibson brothers going against Buddy Wayne and David Oswald. Wayne, a veteran with uh, good experience. David Oswald, young fellow, very aggressive, and we're ready to do it, David. It's Robert Gibson against Buddy Wayne as we're underway. Robert Gibson with the headlock. Buddy Wayne picking him up in the air. Robert Gibson hangs on. Buddy Wayne finds himself on the mat still. Victim of the headlock. He breaks out of it. Threw Robert Gibson into the rope. Knee lift. Robert hits the mat. Quickly tags his brother. Here's Rick. Buddy Wayne, meanwhile, is going to the corner. He's tagged David Oswald. Oswald body slammed by Rick Gibson. He gets a knee lift. Puts Oswald on the mat. Oh, Gibson. Looked like he was trying to drop him down the small package, but uh, Oswald broke out of it. Went with a step over toe hold. Gibson works his way out. He goes with a toe hold. Tags his brother. Here's Robert coming back in. Hmm, a little pressure on the upper leg. As Robert Gibson, please stay put there as he came into the action. Robert takes over the toe hold. Tags Rick. Rick over the top rope. So swings down. Drops on the leg. David Oswald. Rick takes the tag. Gibson Brothers with that quick tag. Boy, they have some fine, fine teamwork. We're about a minute and a half into the action. Gibson's making the quick tag. David Oswald on the mat. Buddy Wayne trying to cheer David Oswald on. Oswald does break out of it, and he gets the tag. Here's Buddy Wayne against Rick Gibson. Buddy Wayne with a headlock. Rick Gibson fires him into the ropes. Over the shoulder, coming off of there, and Buddy Wayne, all 246 pounds of him, hits the mat. Gibson's make a tag. Buddy Wayne into the ropes. Robert Gibson, good drop kick, puts Wayne on the mat of cover. 
Down to one's all he gets. Buddy Wayne quickly to the corner. David Oswald coming back in. Oswald with a headlock on Robert Gibson. He gets the tag. Buddy Wayne comes back in. They double team Robert on the exchange. Tag made, and here's Oswald with a left hand. Two and a half minutes in. Oswald on the mat. Robert Gibson with the wrist lock. Hair pulling by Oswald. He yanked Robert down to the mat. Rick is there, though, after the tag. Ooh, a suplex. Rick Gibson follows with the lower part of the leg. Crossing the forehead. Three minutes, 15 seconds gone. Look at that teamwork. Rick set him up. Robert right there. The count is three, and that is it. Three minutes, 28 seconds of action. And the Gibson brothers, boy, I'm amazed by these guys' teamwork every time I see them. They anticipate each other's moves. Each knows where the other is at all times. And they put it together for a victory there over the team of Buddy Wayne and David Oswald. Well, hey, like they say, man, it didn't take them long to look at a horseshoe. When they got it going, you could just see it coming. Rip fired him in, backdrop, bam with the elbow to cover one, two, three, and how much time did it last? 328. Three minutes and 28 seconds. First victory goes to the team of Rick and Robert Gibson over Buddy Wayne and David Oswald. Action also took place in the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee, in a match that really had some heavyweights. I want you to look at the size of these guys if you can appreciate it. Sonny King and his brother Shab went in against uh, an even bigger team with Sugar Bear Harris and his brother Ray Candy. Let's take a look at the action as it happened. He's got something around Sugar Bear's neck. Forcing him in the corner. The referee saying, let's break it out. Oh, it's a string. I can see it now. Looks like a shoelace or something out of his tights. <laughs> Referee Jerry Calhoun really having his work cut out for him this afternoon as uh, he's dealing with mammoth guys in there. Referee inspecting Sonny King. Sonny had dropped that string down on the canvas. Now he attacks Sugar Bear Harris again. back behind Sonny King taking a knee wrap off he comes over and grabs Sonny the referee says ring the bell Shaft in beating on Ray Candy eight minutes and nine seconds the bout is stopped Sonny caught using that string on Sugar Bear. Ray Candy just openly going in to help his brother out. Had that knee wrap off. Now Sugar Bear has got it on Sonny. While Shaft and Ray Candy are going at it. Jerry Calhoun saying, help him. Bring somebody in here. Let's help me out. Boy, how'd you like to be in the middle of guys? The smallest one is Sonny King, who weighs about 255. Sugar Bear at 300, Candyman at about 290, Shaft right at 270. Referee Paul Morton comes in to try to help out Jerry Calhoun. I don't know whether he's going to be much help. He does have Sugar Bear and Sonny separated. 
Ray Candy. Uh-oh, Sugar Bear now got Shaft with that knee wrap. The official time was 8.09. Mm, man, I'll tell you, that was some kind of brawl and a half. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more about that. We're going to be back with more wrestling action in just a moment.